<laughs> now, on the Madam Toastmaster guests um, and members, of course. Um, 1955, 1st of December, in Alabama, that was a state and in, in um, Montgomery. A woman changed the course of history. This is the woman here. Her name is Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. What she did that day changed history, as I said. But she got arrested. And the only reason that she got arrested was she was black. And as you can see with that picture there, with President Obama sitting on that seat, that changed the course of history. Let me go back, because that was only taken two weeks ago, of what happened in 1955, less than a little over 50 years ago. She was working as a seamstress in a department store in Montgomery that day. And at six o'clock, she got on this bus, this bus here. She sat down in that same seat that Obama was sitting on. And on the fourth stop, the bus was filling up. The bus driver stopped the bus because there was a lot of white people, or three white people standing up. And he went down to the, to the black people who were segregated in the back and said, get up. Two people, black people did and gave their seats, but Rosie Parks didn't. She said, no. The bus driver then said to her, if you don't get up, you're, you're go I'm going to have to have you arrested. And her exact words were, so you may do that. And she sat there till the police came and arrested her. And that started off something amazing in history. You see, When she was arrested that day, she was brought down to the station. And <coughs> shortly after that, a lot of people heard about this. And one of the main people who, one of the new activists, or what we call leaders, was Martin Luther King, as you've heard it before. And he helped to start a boycott. But one thing that was amazing about that particular day, when she looked back on it, was she was asked, how did she feel when, that bus man, when the bus driver came down to her? And her words were, my determination covered me like a warm quilt on a cold winter's night. So she had the education because she was there was only she had a, a um, um, high a, a degree um, um, high school degree at the time and only five percent of all blacks had a degree or a diploma actually was a degree in high school. So she had this education. She was able to express herself. There was something very special about Rosie. Uh, parks and the boycott started it took 381 days but what what um, the campaigner Martin Luther King and the rest of them did was that they stopped people they, they asked or he asked all the black people not to get on the buses to so that this campaign would start that they would and they didn't. 
actually, what happened for those 381 days, Martin Luther King was actually arrested. And a hundred other black people were arrested during those, that particular time, that campaign. It also affected the bus industry in Montgomery. And there was so much pressure on it that they had to let the legislation through. And what happened then was that any black or white person could sit anywhere on a bus. And that was a huge, that doesn't sound very big now. It'd be something like the property tax that's gone out, uh, that's going to start here at the moment. It'd be like me going up to Leinster House, chaining myself against the, the gates there. But I wouldn't have the courage or the strength to do that. But I know if Norma Parks, uh, Rosa Parks was alive now, she would. She had that strength and courage to do something like that. And we should learn from, from, from her, I think, at the moment. She, she, she got the medal of, of, of um, the Congressional Gold Medal from Al Gore, um, Al Gore. She also got from Clinton the, uh, the Gold Freedom, uh, the, the, the Freedom Medal. She also got 24 honorary doctrines during her lifetime. And she deserved every single one of them, I believe. But the, 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 uh, the amazing thing uh, uh, about her was that she had this ability over, she died eight years ago. And two weeks ago, she would have been 100. So they decided that they'd unveil a statue for her in this, in the, in the, near the White House, in this, I think it's called a stationary hall, where all this, a lot of, uh, or statuary hall, where all this, the statues are. And it's a huge hall, but Obama talked the same way as I talked here tonight about the courage and passion that that, that woman had to change the course of history. But I'm going to end here with the what's written at the end of that statue and also on that Congressional Gold Medal at the end of it. And what's written is two lines. The first line says, the mother of the freedom movement. She certainly was. Quite strength pride, dignity, and courage. But I go further with that. I'd say, I would say no, uh, Rosa Parks had buckets of courage. Thank you. Yes.